The Leviathan, a massive sea monster dwelling in the depths of the ocean, is one of the most mystifying and terrifying creatures mentioned in the Bible. It is portrayed as a beast so powerful that only God himself can defeat it. Even today, it remains a topic of fascination and mystery, stirring imaginations and fueling discussions. As the Bible suggests, if the Leviathan were ever to be unleashed, humanity would be utterly powerless to confront it. This leaves many wondering about the creature's true nature, its symbolism, and what fate awaits it according to scripture. In this video, we'll dive into the rich tapestry of references surrounding the Leviathan and explore its potential meanings. So if you're intrigued by ancient mysteries and biblical lore, make yourself comfortable and stay tuned. I'll also be sharing some eerie real-world recordings at the end, allowing you to draw your conclusions about this enigmatic creature. In biblical terms, the Leviathan is described as a creature representing chaos and destruction. Its first mention appears in the Old Testament, specifically in Genesis 1, 21, where it is implied that God created the great sea monsters on the fifth day. Among these creatures, Leviathan is unique in its terror and power. Interestingly, the Bible suggests that there were initially two Leviathans, though one was destroyed by God. In Psalm 74, 13-14, we read about God's power in dividing the sea and defeating sea monsters, including the Leviathan, by crushing its heads and feeding them to desert creatures. This depiction paints Leviathan as a multi-headed beast, an interpretation that has fueled legends of multi-headed dragons and other mythical monsters. But the Bible doesn't stop there. It further implies that another Leviathan remains, one that will only be defeated by God at the final judgment, a notion echoed in apocalyptic prophecies. The book of Job provides one of the most vivid descriptions of Leviathan, portraying it as an overwhelmingly fearsome creature. Job 41 contains a series of rhetorical questions illustrating its indomitable nature. Can you catch Leviathan with a hook or tie down its tongue with a rope? These verses depict Leviathan as a beast beyond human control, a creature one wouldn't even want to lay eyes on, let alone confront. Verse after verse paints a terrifying image. Its snorting throws out flashes of light. Its eyes are like the rays of dawn. This monstrous being, impervious to human weapons and fearless of any challenger, seems to embody an ancient dread of the uncontrollable forces of nature. The vividness of these descriptions has led some scholars to suggest that the Leviathan is a metaphor for oppressive empires or governments. However, the specificity of its physical traits, like its fiery breath and armored scales, suggests a literal creature in the minds of ancient writers. This impression is strengthened by Job 41.33, where it is said that nothing on earth is its equal, a creature without fear. Yet, despite its terrifying power, Leviathan's fate is sealed by the scriptures. Isaiah 27 verse 1 prophesies that on the day of judgment, God will punish Leviathan with his hard, great, and strong sword, a phrase rich with symbolic meaning. Biblical scholars interpret God's sword as his word, aligning with Hebrews 4.12, which describes the word of God as living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword. Therefore, the implication is that when the time comes, God will vanquish Leviathan by merely uttering a command. Ephesians 6.17 reinforces this metaphor, describing the sword of the Spirit as the word of God. These powerful descriptions underscore the idea that Leviathan, despite its monstrous strength, stands no chance against its creator. Where then does this colossal creature dwell? According to Psalms 104.26, Leviathan resides in the depths of the ocean. There go the ships, there is Leviathan, whom you formed to frolic there. This verse highlights the ocean as Leviathan's domain, a fitting place for a creature symbolizing chaos. The ocean, vast and largely unexplored, holds many secrets and it's not surprising that it remains associated with such mythical monsters. Intriguingly, Antarctica, also known as the frozen continent, is one of the least explored regions on Earth. In fact, unsettling noises have been recorded from the Antarctic depths. One of the most famous is the Julia sound. A loud, eerie noise detected in 1999 by NOAA. While some suggest it might have been caused by an iceberg, the exact source remains a mystery. For those drawn to mysteries of the deep, these sounds provoke the imagination. 
Could there be evidence of something like Leviathan lurking below? Adding to the intrigue, another mysterious noise, named Train, was recorded in 1997 near Antarctica's Ross Sea. This sound, reminiscent of a locomotive, was thought to come from an iceberg scraping the seabed. Then in 1997, a noise named Slow Down was captured, a sound that gradually decreased in frequency over several minutes, believed to be caused by ice movements on the seabed. These eerie recordings, combined with the fact that an estimated third of all marine species are still undiscovered, remind us of how little we truly know about the ocean's depths. Could there be colossal creatures dwelling there, hidden from human eyes? The Leviathan also features prominently in Jewish mythology and apocryphal texts like the Book of Enoch. According to these writings, God initially created both a female Leviathan, residing in the ocean's depths, and a male behemoth, dwelling in a hidden desert east of Eden. Some legends suggest that these two monstrous beings will face off in an epic battle at the end of time, while others depict them joining forces against humanity. In the Talmud, an ancient text of Jewish oral traditions, God is even described as playing with Leviathan a creature so powerful that its skin will be used to cover the banquet tent for the righteous in the world to come. These myths add another layer of mystery to Leviathan's story, suggesting that its defeat will signal a time of divine reward for the faithful. In demonology, Leviathan is often portrayed as a powerful demon of chaos and destruction, believed to attempt possession of individuals and resist exorcism. In some satanic beliefs, it is considered part of a demonic trinity alongside Lucifer, symbolizing the force of chaos itself. While these interpretations deviate from biblical accounts, they emphasize Leviathan's terrifying image across different traditions. Ultimately, scripture assures us that God will be the one to defeat Leviathan at the end of times. Some interpretations align Leviathan with Satan, associating it with ultimate evil. The question remains, could Leviathan truly exist, or is it merely a symbol of untamed natural forces? As we explore the biblical accounts, mythology, and unexplored depths of the oceans, Leviathan remains a subject of awe and fear. If you enjoyed this deep dive into ancient mysteries, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more. And if you'd like to see more content exploring the ocean's depths, leave a comment below with Leviathan.